My name is Danica Marie Ronquillo Villaluna, and this is my podcast on Vladimir Kush. Russian surrealist painter Vladimir Kush has been hailed as the new Salvador Dali. His vibrantly colorful works take surrealism to a whole new level. However, Kush refers to his art not as surrealism, but as metaphorical realism, and it is easy to see why. Two of his artworks that I will be talking about are Treasure Island and African Sonata. Treasure Island depicts a serene seascape, and Kush propagates the idea of the Robert Louis Stevenson mythical island full of riches in his colorful painting. In the foreground, a butterfly with wings made of coins sits atop a flower ruby. The other flowers are also made of precious stones, and the sun in the background is a large gold coin. Kush gives the viewer the feeling that the entire island is made of gold and jewels, with his depiction of gilded insects and flowers. African Sonata is a painting depicting a scene from a watering hole in Africa. Kush replaced the heads of elephants with giant tubas to symbolize both the sound the elephants make and the immense size of their trunks. Kush incorporated other musical elements throughout this piece. The antelope in the foreground has a lyre for antlers and creeps into the scene through the field of trumpets, horns, and cymbals. Smoke seeping from the volcano in the background and the clouds in the skies take the shape of musical notes. Ironically, the most musical animal in the painting, the birds, are depicted normally, as though they would in the wild. The painting is a metaphor to the natural music animals make in their natural habitat. Um, At the same time, the instruments that Hush used for the animals' faces, such as the tuba for the elephant, is also a depiction of, or rather, a description a testament to the animals themselves. 